good thing about Microsoft Identity Platform, this one, is that it's absolutely consumer agnostic. It means that our own web application and web APIs could be written in any language, any platform, absolutely anything. In this demo, let's check our demo application, demo server side application written in Node.js. So what I have here is a Node application, which is configured to the, uh, let's start from the packages. It uses Azure and Sal Node package. This application is written with Express. It requires some kind of Express packages, but in order to authorize our user in the Microsoft Identity Platform, we need to use this already made package, which makes our development pretty simple. For that, we need to configure our app with a couple of parameters, like this cloud instance, tenant ID we take from our application registration. Let's find our tenant ID. Microsoft Anchor, my default tenant. This is tenant ID. Also need client ID, which is our web application. Let's find app registration for our applications, find our test web app, this one, and get its client ID. Client ID 2C0, 2C0. It also needs a redirect URI, which is configured in our web application in the output hook. In a second. So redirect. URI is localhost 3000. With all of this config, what we can do is we can start our web application. Here it is. It's start on port 3000. Let's open the browser and log in to our web application. This our server side rendered express app. We can sign in. Here it provides us user interface to do sign in. For example, for this demo, let me use another one test user account. Maybe this one. This one. I also need to provide password. Like that. It redirects back to our web application with logged in user. And also what we can do is to get list of all claims obtained from the ID token. What we can see is a username some other information uh, provided us by Azure. Let me remind that all of these test users created in advance in the my demo active directory. So this is list of users. List of users and couple of my test users created in advance. So let's get back to the source code. What we see here is our uh, basically pretty plain express application with authentication configuration also got from the Microsoft demo example. And what it does, it uses our configuration in order to configure MSAL object in order to get registration 
information from the Azure. So here how it works for let's say other development platform like Node.js. Okay, as soon as we are talking about different platforms, probably the main one for us when we are discussing it is React. So let's open React application and see how authentication works there. Close my node app and open test React app. I believe here we see recent files. Let me cancel this one and open React app. This app is configured use the same application with registration. So here in enter ID, we have uh, app registrations. In all apps, we probably will see our test web app registration. This one, this one. This is app client ID 2C0. Let's check our React application. What we need here is Azure MSAL browser and Azure MSAL React. Okay. Uh, all of this is a very simple React uh, JS app. What it has, it has uh, authentication configuration with information about our client ID, our authority together with our tenant ID and redirect URI. Now let's start this app and see the user experience for the authentication from the React app. Test application. Come on, you can do it. Okay, it's starting development server. And this our test app. Welcome. Okay. This demo app shows two authentication methods. We can authenticate using pop-up or we can authenticate using redirect. Let's first uh, authenticate using pop-up. This is our old friend we separate window provided by Microsoft. Let me choose some existing account. It seems I was previously logged in to that account. Let me sign out first and I don't know sign in once again okay sign in pop up mm, probably this one i am not logged in i need to provide my password and welcome i am in the test application let's see our network request screen it's microsoft 
and if we get information about my user i see list of claims together with token information issued for us by microsoft entra let me uh, sign out via pop-up i think i will sign out from all my previously signed in accounts demo accounts let's sign in using redirect for that it redirects our web browser to the other login page let me login with maybe Jupiter. provide my password here i can see all information about my test user from its claims like that i can request profile information this is a token api request request to microsoft platform in the response in the response i have all information like access token refresh token id token and then using that data i can do another one api request for example at the microsoft graph platform using uh, in the request header it uses authorization header with a bear token and with information about my user from the graph so this is how it's possible to use microsoft identity platform in the react application let me sign out I will sign out from my test user and that's it. Thanks.